I know you came to me for assistance, and I know all I'm telling you are don'ts, but if you really want to get rid of them, follow these simple steps to destroy your relationship. Don't pay them any attention. I mean, when they ask you a direct question, sure, you have to answer them eventually, but just start going about your life like they weren't there. Forget you have plans together. Make plans with your friends. I mean, if the two of you aren't meant for each other, they're not going to want to hang out with your friends anyway, right? Oh, by the way, that would be a great rationale if they ask, why didn't you invite me along? <laughs> don't give them any space at your place because you don't want them to feel like they have any permanence in your life. Oh, God, you've done that already, haven't you? They have their crap at your place, right? Or, or let me guess, they're trying to redecorate? Oh, God, that's worse. All right, is this stuff of theirs something of theirs that can be destroyed by accident? Because really, if you want to end a relationship, you have to cut any and all strings. I mean it. Oh, I was going to suggest that you should look like you have violent tendencies, maybe clean your guns more, but then I realized that acting crazy might backfire on you. They could call the cops or something, and you don't want to deal with that load of mess. So don't go acting crazy to drive them away, as tempting as it sounds. When something goes wrong, it goes violently wrong. Don't tell your partner that you don't want this to end. Don't say that you don't want this to be goodbye because then you're giving them mixed signals. You're giving them a glimmer of hope that things might work out after all because really you want the point to be that it doesn't work out after all, right? <laughs> don't say you want to don't want to throw away your relationship. <laughs> Even if you do, <laughs> please don't let them think that you've got anything vested in this anymore. And another thing, when something goes wrong, goes violently wrong, don't tell them you're sorry. God, no, that's the worst thing to say. Don't open the window for them to think that this might be your fault. I don't give a shit if it's your fault or not, but the last thing you do is to tell them that you're sorry for anything. I know they might cling. I, I know they might get desperate. But you said you wanted to be free. I I'm only trying to help. <laughs> you might not like it. Th this might seem counterintuitive sometimes, but the key is to not think about what you're doing. Yeah, it, it might hurt, but that's a point, isn't it?